I wanted you to define, because it's such a cool sounding word, just what do you mean by retro causality? Well, it means oh. causality that goes backwards and backwards in time, right? Uh, I mean, of course, it's... At, the at, future affecting yeah, the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's relative okay. to a certain assumed time axis. So if you're, I mean, if you're at a microphysics level or if you're orbiting around the black hole or something, it becomes tricky to define. But in, in an every, everyday life context, it's sim simple enough to, to define. And in the case, at point, case in point that we're coming to in this conversation, let's say we create a super AGI in 2029, for sake of argument, as, as Ray Kurzweil thought that's when we'll break through to human level AGI. So say we, say we made a human level AGI 2029, say it designed some new quantum computing infrastructure for itself that it helped uh, manufacture with some robots by 2031 or 32 or something. Then suppose this quantum AGI supercomputer then figures out some tweaks to quantum mechanics that, that, that we don't, we don't know yet. And then reach reaches back in time and affects things that happened in say 2023 in such a way as to you know increase increase the number of multiverse branches in which there was a nice happy singularity and decrease the you know the the measure of the multiverse branches in in, in which uh, you know the world was annihilated and, and the cockroaches took over so i mean got to prune mean, those forks yeah so like, yeah so i, I mean that's uh, <laughs> that's that would be uh, colorful science factional sort of uh, example of uh, of of retro causality <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>